This is my eighth time in the hot seat. So really quickly, I've only heard you say when you're meeting your lover or your soulmate, you'll know and the other person will know and you'll both be licking each other's faces. But <laughs> is it always that way? <laughs> Can one person know before the other person knows? Yeah. Yes. You could be more in the receptive mode and your alignment could be so sophisticated or established that you're just following the impulses. And so your inner being is providing rendezvous before the other is in recognition of it. But usually both realize simultaneously. Usually it is a rendezvous where you both feel your connection, especially at the level of deliberate creation that you are talking about. Because I had asked you before about him, because I, I believe that we met. Any advice about what to do in the interim while I'm waiting? <laughs> Get on a different subject. Okay. Get on a different subject, because the work is already done. The vortex is already established. What you want is already underway. The conversation that we had earlier about being in that place where you're enjoying that movement from where you are to what you are desiring you're enjoying that process so much that you're even willing to not jump into anything too fast because this process is so delightful and if this process doesn't feel delightful if it feels urgent or if you feel like something's really missing until that clicks into place then that is an indication that your vibration isn't in the place that you really want it to be sometimes you meet those people and you have really strong desire to be with them and they have no desire whatsoever to be with you. They're actually in a much healthier place for their own point of attraction than you are because they are in this place of ease about where they are. And when a person is in a place of ease about where they are, what they really want will come into their experience. And so what you really want to do is this is the powerful quote statement that we would like to come out of this discussion. You want to take the urgency out of your desires. Nothing's urgent. And when you think about it, if it's a sure thing, then it isn't urgent, is it? And so if you knew that what you want is a sure thing, would you feel like you need to rush to it so fast? And isn't the urgency sort of shortage consciousness oriented? Like if I don't hurry and get there, I won't have enough time or it'll go away or I'll miss it. You can feel the offness in all of that. We know you've been hearing, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey. And you really don't want to hear that anymore because you want the journey to be over and you want to be to where you want to be. But we want you to enjoy the journey because we want you to realize that it's a never ending journey. It's a never ending journey full of all kinds of surprises and delighting experiences. So we want you to just not need for something to be different in order for you to feel good. We want you to feel good as things are. Find a way to make it okay where you are. Find a way to make what is right now not only okay, but really okay with you. And then when you're there, because earlier we said to someone, and we're going to say the same thing to you, your vortex relationship is reaching for someone different than you are right now. So neither one of you have rendezvoused there yet. Where your question, and it usually sounds like this, most people who are asking the question, what they're saying is, why doesn't the one who is missing come to me? Because I'm not missing. I'm not missing. I'm standing here waiting, but the one that I'm waiting for is missing. We want to sort of blow your mind open a little bit with this. You're missing too. You're not your vortex version. And so you're demanding a vortex version of your partner but you're not the vortex version of you who's going to meet your partner. And because you know so much, the wrong one can't rendezvous with you. Don't you like knowing that? That was really big. So what you want to say is, because I'm not there, don't get there before I do. Well, a lot of times your partners are there and you're not there. Your partners are there and you're not there. Sometimes you're there and your partner's not there, but your partner's there and you're not there. Your partner's there and you're not there. Why are you not there? Because you're looking for your partner in a conditional way rather than in an unconditional way. This was really, really, really the best relationship conversation we've ever experienced. Good time for a segment of refreshment.